Hey, Bam here, and I love tech, so let's go ahead and talk tech. Specifically, I want to talk about tech security, whether that be internet security, which is what a lot of uh, people have to have now in order to do, I'm going to say 99% of basically everything. Uh, and, of course, device security and uh, financial security in tech being, you know, Android Pay, Apple Pay, Samsung Pay, st stuff like that. And the fact that, first of all, I personally think that a lot of people are very, very paranoid about uh, about the future of uh, about today and the future today and the future of uh, tech security, as far as not being able to steal. Uh, your identity, your money, your whatever, what have you. And I think it has a lot to do with how attached everyone is to different sci-fi movies like Terminator and iRobot and just all these different types of movies that all point to the idea of tech taking over the human race. I think that, first of all, uh, that we're going to have way too... We're always going to have a lot of human innovation. I don't think it's ever going to get to the point of what iRobot did with robots making robots. I th think that there's always going to be the need for... Uh, human pilots in the creation of tech. Now, recently, I did uh, watch a video from Boy in a Band of uh, artificial intelligence uh, being smart enough eventually, soon apparently, to actually be able to uh, take over the world and kill off the human race and everything like that and to that I say yeah I mean the potential is there obviously I'm not gonna pretend like it's not the potential is definitely there for AI to take over and kill off the human race but that is such a small probability of happening that unless whoever creates this AI, whoever creates the te this technology is really so blind to not see what they are creating before it is actually A, being created and B, killing us. Uh, uh, un unless you got that potential happening, I don't probabilistically see us going down that path. Uh, at least not far enough that it would actually do us any harm. I see that, you know, that uh, that it's going to potentially show signs and we're going to stop it before it gets to that point because of the fact that that's our paranoia keeping us safe. A certain amount of paranoia is always going to keep us from having our technology kill us. So that's kind of where I stand on uh, AI. And as far as like uh, a, a probably a more relevant topic like viruses and hacking and everything like that, I know there's, I, I've, I can't tell you the number of times I've been told you shouldn't be putting that on Facebook because I do still use Facebook. I don't care. Uh, <laughs> uh, but, you know, about how it takes like uh, five connected people for anyone to see anything about anyone and I'm here to tell you right now I ran a test the other day and that is simply not true and it, it, as long as you know what you're doing it, it obviously with Facebook if you are able if you, not if you're able, but if you know how to set up 
different blockings and make certain stuff private versus friends versus public and even certain groups that you're in that you have made for family friends work whatever I did actually find out that you know I went over to uh, Best Buy and had one of the uh, employees at Best Buy uh, whip out the smartphone, get Facebook up and going, and uh, and search for me. And while they found my they found my profile, they found my you know picture, everything like that. They found uh, my first, middle, and last name because I use my full name as a way to say Blake Allen Mahavix of Bam Videos. Uh, but that's it. I mean, it said that I'm self-employed, uh, or rather that, I, yeah, I'm self-employed uh, founder, no, operator at BAM Videos, and that was it. There was nothing else to show. It showed a few mutual friends, but that was it. So this idea that anyone can look up anything about you online at all and find out anything it, it it's complete bullshit I mean it, it really is and, uh, and you know we're talking about the average consumer here not the YouTube channel I know uh, don't mean for any copyright issue or anything like that but the average computer the, the average consumer user is not going to be able it d does not have the level of hacking skills needed to get into someone's Facebook or get into someone's Instagram or uh, or their online storage through Google Drive or Dropbox or anything like that. The average person is not going to be able to do that. Even an inner, it would take at least intermediate computer skills to be able to hack into those kind of accounts, those social media accounts and those online storage accounts. And even at that, you're talking about the fact that it, it, it that uh, it makes a difference at that point as to whether or not your password is something as simple as your initials and then a period or underscore or maybe you don't have anything in there at all and then your birth year, or maybe it's reversed or something like that. Then yeah, you kind of deserve to be hacked for that because that is completely just uh, stupid simple. It would not take a rocket scientist to figure that one out. However, if you're like me and you think about and and you think about you know five, six, seven steps ahead of okay, what would someone think that my password would be? And then I go opposite of that, you know. Uh, so as long as you're able to uh, not be a total idiot and make your password something like I heart kitties whenever you have like whenever you own seven different cats <laughs> per se. So as long as, you know, you're not doing passwords that are stupid simple like that, putting your address in or anything like that, then you're you're for the most part fine. Now, yes, there are certain softwares, uh, programs that you can use that would be able to guess a password in so many tries and be able to get it right with so many different characters. But that takes a long time. That really does. It takes a lot. It, it it takes so long because it has to go through every single character, not just all the letters in the alphabet, but it also has to go through all different punctuations and numbers. So whenever you consider all those different possibilities, the possibilities of what your password are are within the billions to trillions of uh, different combinations. 
uh, and if not, then it's infinite. I'll, I'll go ahead and I'll, I feel confident with stretching it out as far as being infinite. So, to sit there and say that nothing online is secure, well, you're right to a very small extent. Uh, obviously, people have been able, been, been able to hack and get private uh, pictures and been able to unbury someone's uh, Snapchat that disappeared. You know, nothing is completely unhackable, but at the same time, it does take either A, a certain level of intelligence, or B, some really heavy uh, password cracking capabilities as long as you're not an idiot to make your password something that is so stupidly simple. So, uh, there's really no purpose of being as paranoid as what I feel like a lot of people are. Uh, definitely keep your paranoia, uh, and but keep it in check. Your paranoia can keep you safe, but also keep it in check. Make sure that you're not you know, say, well, I'm completely against uh, Android Pay because then anyone can, no, not anyone can use it. It, it, it. it does require you set up a pin and everything like that. And even if someone does figure out how to use it, you'll be notified. You can see it and you can dispute the charges and everything like that, report it, and, and it'll be taken care of. So... Anyway, that's what I wanted to talk about, and I guess that it's time to go ahead and reveal that I did recently buy a LG V20. I will be doing a full review of this whenever I uh, actually have time to play around with it more, uh, specifically the camera. I'm still learning the camera on this one, and... Uh, whenever I get that more figured out, I will review it. So, anyway, see ya.